The first video I'll start with is the one that everybody is most familiar with. The shadow figure in West Virginia Penitentiary. It looked like there was a person there. Right there in front of me, it looked like there was a person. These next set of clips are from Prospect Place. In one clip you'll see an apparition that trills next to me. Following that you'll see another one that seems to be caressing a medium's back. I have no idea what that means. Is that what? Texas. Did you have anything? Why don't I have a switch on here? To do with the bounty yeah, hunter? Probably on my camera. Oh, okay. Probably what is it? Now it says Columbus. Bad one is me. Can I take care of myself? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why you didn't want to touch my bag. Not cool. Don't touch my bag. In this next clip, I take a tour of the Golden Lamb during the height of COVID. It occurs rather quickly as I come into this dining area and you'll see a door that typically leads to a kitchen. Pay attention to the right side of the doorway as you'll see some kind of a head look out at me. Now this could be either a fixed object or something paranormal. So it's cool because even now, if I made it a point to pull out my digital recorder and record and they'd be fine with it. Here in these clips from Madison Seminary, I was conducting my medium walk and I had two incidents occur that I thought were worth sharing again. One is of a light anomaly that seems to occur on the wall. I'm a little confused as to whether this is something legitimately paranormal or just some kind of feedback the camera is getting from some kind of ambient light. The second one, it looks like a shadow runs along the wall. I'm not 100% sure either what this is, but I thought it was worth including so you could check it out. Her energy just feels different than a residual playback. By the way, I have the LS10 running. <laughs> so I really do think there's a very strong residual energy here. And it's in the furniture. I don't know if this furniture is original or not. So 
So I get a little bad juju charge from in here. In this last clip, I'm doing an EVP session at the Harmon Museum right before one of our world's largest ghost hunt events. Now, many of you don't care for orbs. More of you do care for orbs. And me, I'm on the fence that I'm not really an orb person, but I've seen some very compelling videos. So I thought I would include this one because it seems like this thing is either affecting my camera or just causing me to wonder. So you'll see as I'm doing this EVP session, this orb come directly into the camera. Now, what you make out of it is up to you, but that's why I have it here. You don't have to be afraid. My camera just lost focus. Yeah, you can come close to me, come closer. That was it. So those were a few of the clips that I have contained inside of my overall Epoch Paranormal YouTube channel that I thought were worth bringing to your attention. Now, it's up to you what you make out of it. Typically, we want to think in terms of Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is more often than not the correct explanation. But when dealing with the paranormal, you got to think outside the box sometimes and you got to start to consider things. So I appreciate you guys watching these. And if you are a person that watches my videos here, if you ever catch something, please point it out to me. Put a timestamp in the comments and just let me know and I'll go back. I'll check it out. And then if I have enough, I'll make another video like this.